All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how we can use a library to add functionality to Google Sheets to create a function that will basically spell numbers for us. So sometimes you need to take a number and convert it to an actual text used very commonly when people have to do checks and things like that, I believe. So I found this library and I'm gonna try to again use it in Google Sheets to create a function out of it. So it's called JS written number. Uh, now this is one of the beauties of JavaScript as a language. If you can find a library that will work in Google Sheets, you should be able to implement it and then make it work. Now, I don't really know how well it's working with all of this. I haven't tested it, but let's just implement it and see what happens. So I'm gonna open this, go under tools, script editor. I have this code.js. I'm gonna create a name for this project. Click here, call it anything you want. Then I'm gonna add a script to this. So file, new script file. Just call it anything you want, it doesn't matter. Now in this script that I just did, I'm gonna remove all of this. Go to their library, which you can find over here. Let me just add a comment line here. Now, if for whatever reason this goes down, I also forked it to here. So if you go to my GitHub page here, you should be able to find this length JS written numbers that takes you to the same place. So this is their library page. I'm gonna go to dist, take this written numbers JS and click on raw. Control A or command A to select this whole thing. Copied, go back here and paste and save. So that's the library should now be in here. Now I'm gonna go to my code.js and create a function. We'll call it number to text. Now in this function, we need to use the library. Now if I go back a couple of steps, if I scroll down a little bit, we have some examples here. So if I take this line and go back to this. Let's just test this to see if it works. So I'm gonna do console.log that result. So now if I run this number to text function, if it works, this should return this number as text. So let's go see the log, 1,234. That's correct. Now, I wanted to test this with sense. Let's see if it works. It doesn't, so it just works with whole numbers, which is fine. So if we have to add something like that, I believe we could, but for now, let's just leave it at this. So we're gonna do this. So now I want this to be basically just return here. So I'm gonna convert this to a function. Actually, I'm gonna keep this here. Let's just copy and paste this below. Let's call this one test. This is where we'll test our stuff. And here, let's just convert this to a function. So I'm gonna return the result. And what we'll do, we'll just pass an argument here. We'll do number. Actually, let's just do this. And then pass it here as an argument. So now we should be able to go to our spreadsheet and use this function. So I'm gonna copy this, go here, do equal sign, number to text, open parentheses, and click on this one, close parentheses, hit enter, and it says one, and if I drag it down, 12, 33, seems to work just fine. Let's try it with a larger number. And what if we get to like millions? Five million. I don't know if there is like a limit to billions, I guess. That's fine. I'm just gonna stick with this. 
that works pretty well. Now we should be able to also use different languages here. See how we can pass this language as an option. And apparently we can also do no and. I assume that refers to, see this ands, if you don't want to have 100 and 34, you want it to be 134. So let's try to do that. Let's start with a language. I'm not gonna be able to say if that's correct or not, but I'm gonna try to implement it anyways. So the way this is gonna work, we have to pass this option parameter. So if I go back and add this option parameter here, right here, and it says language is French, if we change it to ES, I believe. Yeah, see, these are the supported languages, like Spanish would be ES apparently. So if I change it to ES here, if I go back, see now that should be in Spanish. I hope that's correct. So I want to be able to have the option in the function to pass the language. So I'm gonna go here and do a second parameter language. And then over here, we'll just use that language as a variable which means now we have a second parameter. Now I will probably set it as default to English like this. So what that means is that now if I go back, see if I don't do anything like this, it's English, but I could go back here and do something like, what languages did we have other than Spanish? Let's try another one. Like this one, Russian. So if I go do this, now I'm passing an argument that should work in Russian. So let's just do that. So I'm just curious if we can do proper on other languages than English. Oh. Broke the number. So it seems you can do proper on other languages other than English, that's so cool. Uh, so if you wanted to capitalize the first letter, you could do proper. If you wanted the whole thing, all caps, you could do upper. And then to get back to just English, I can just do this. and I don't have to pass a second argument. I'm gonna remove that upper, but if you wanted to, you can do that or proper to capitalize the first letter. Okay, there was one other parameter that we could use, I believe here, which was, see this no and, so defaults to false, okay? So that means that we should be able, as far as I understand, go here and pass uh, no and parameter, and I'll just probably do this, and then we'll pass another argument here, and by default, we'll make it false. False means and should be there, and if we want to remove and, let's just call it remove and, and we'll just pass it over here. So if we want to remove it, we'll set it to true. So by default, it's gonna be false. Let's go back and test this. So this works and see there's an and here. Now, if I wanted to remove it, I will have to pass, well, since that's the third argument, we'll have to do the language. And then as the last argument, I'm gonna do true. That will not affect that one, but it should affect the last two. See, ands are gone. So now we have an option to remove the word and if we want to with this true, or we can keep it by doing false or not doing anything, right? So if I do false, that should do and, and if I don't do this at all, that should work too. So that's nice. So now we have a function number to text and it works just fine.
Yeah, and that's how we can basically spell our numbers. And that should do it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.